it'll never stop impressing me and making me happy. It brings me a pleasure. When people that believe they're fight fans are forced through evidence to see that the worst part about a fight is the fight. The worst part about boxing, bar none, is having to watch people box. The fact that, that when these fights go down, and, and these are highly sought after, this is a highly sought after card, it's going to do great. But it will ail in comparison to the buildup. It will ail in compare. The views of the fight will not be anywhere near what the press conference was or what the weigh-in was or what the countdown shows are or, or the interviews or the back and forth or something that Errol Hawani put out or anything else compared to the actual match. The actual match is the most painful. The only thing that killing boxing is having to watch people box. Aside from that, it's great. Like, aside from that one thing, it's, it's really a lot of fun. And most sports are that way. Like, that isn't a new thing, right? If you took alcohol out of football, nobody watches football. And I don't think you'll be able to disagree. And if you can, it'll be one person and then the other hundred, right? Think of the people you know that watch football. And it doesn't matter if they go to the games or if they stay home and they watch at home. How many of those people watch it without drinking? And you might know somebody. You probably don't know anybody, but you might know somebody. And other than that, I just proved my point. Right? Like, it's painfully boring to watch. Have you ever been to a professional basketball game? Basketball sucks because they'll call timeout as soon as two guys touch each other. Right? And then basketball is extra funny because there's always some player on the team that's like the team badass. And you'll have the other players tell you what a badass he is. And all the rest of us are looking around going, every one of you are wimps. If any of you get touched, you fall down and then you get free points. It's, it's just one of these interesting things. But if you ever go live to a basketball game, man, every time there's a timeout, they got the cheerleaders on the court. They got the mascots going during halftime. They got the music pumping. They got some kind of a game. They're bringing little kids out on tricycles, like whatever it takes. They're well aware that the sport sucks. Now, I only tell you this because I get met with resistance at times from people that tell me they're a purist. I don't care who said what. I don't care about the pictures of his fiance. I don't care about anything. I just care about two great competitors. And I want to go, no, you don't. And if you do, which you don't, but, but if you do, you don't matter. You don't matter because there's not enough of you to keep the doors open. There's not enough of you to drive a commercial retail enterprise. So you don't matter with that stupid opinion. And as bad as it is, as much as I have to be met with resistance by it, I love the way Misfits has handled its production, right? They bring out that creep. Who is that creepy guy? That creepy guy, Chris Hansen. And Chris Hansen had his show canceled and then kite a whole bunch of bad checks. Chris Hansen turned out to be a crook, a complete criminal and a crook. And he comes on the stage to clown Dylan Dennis. And Dylan called him on it instantly. He said, hey, Chris, why don't you pay your taxes? Chris goes, oh, there's another thing that you've got wrong, Dylan. And Dylan might have that wrong. I, I don't know if Chris had a tax issue or not. I know he wrote bad checks. I just don't know it was through the IRS. I know he's writing them to hotels and, and, and rental cars. And, and I'm just saying, the guy's a crook. They bring this crook on the stage, but the production looked great. Right? They bring Gordon Ryan out there. I have to really, I really don't quite know what, what Gordon's participation was other than to just exist. But they brought him out there and he looked good on stage. Then it gets right, like these are dumb ideas. I don't put Hansen down just because Hansen's a scumbag. I wasn't like taking a, a willful shot at Chris Hansen. I'm sharing with you, no one wants to see Chris Hansen to the point that his show got canceled and he's a criminal. But they still made it work because of the way they produced it and they made it look so good. That's the point that I'm attempting to get at. So they then do this weigh in and they separate people. There's, there's like even this, this plexiglass booth, right, that people have to stay behind so they can't get damaged or so they can't come face to face. So there's no more, no more showing color. No more finding color. You know what? You know what that means. If if you're gonna color, 
you're gonna color in a match. That's a professional wrestling term. Means you're gonna you're gonna gig. You're, you're gonna you're gonna take a gig and you're gonna you're gonna cut yourself. If you're gonna, they'll call it juice or they'll call it adding color. Hey, are we gonna add color to this match? Are we going to juice? That's inside wrestling slang for cut yourself. So I bring that to you because after Logan gigged to the gimmick microphone. They decide they're going to put him in plexiglass, right? Which there's really no way to get together on that short of notice unless you knew that the juice gig gimmick was going to happen. You could already have the room. Anyway, it really doesn't matter. That's neither here nor there. The point is they pulled it off. And you get John Fury to go in and begin to taunt KSI. And John Fury is just wonderful. I mean, he's just... John Fury is, he's so great at knowing what his boy can't do, right? There, there's two things that Will Fury, that his, his son, right? He's got this handsome son. He's got this one son that looks like a big ogre, but he can whip everybody's ass. He's got another son that looks like a model, but he can't fight. So Fury knows my son lacks in two departments. He can't promote and he can't fight, but he can box a little bit. So he makes sure, John makes sure to get Will Fury boxing matches against guys who aren't boxers, and he does the promotion for him. It should really be appreciated. And the only reason I bring it up, I mean, one, because I really do appreciate John's work. I mean, John was flexing and taunting KSI, then he starts hitting the plexiglass. You don't know how hard plexiglass is going to be, right? You don't know if it's going to break and your hand's going to go through. I mean, your hand could go through and it could slice an artery. Like, this is a big deal. So he comes in, he tests it out one time. He realizes it's pretty good glass. He starts hitting it harder and harder. And he finally headbutts it. But you have to understand, he doesn't hit it very hard the first time. Like, that's what makes the whole thing great. The whole thing was an artistic production because he felt it out, right? He felt that glass out. See where it was going to move before he started laying into it. Then he starts... He starts headbutt <laughs> with a hat on. So he bends, he bends the brim of the hat. He looks stupid. And KSI doesn't flinch. Now, why would he flinch? He's protected in plexiglass. And then if you look kind of down your screen and to the bottom left, you actually see Will Fury, who is his son, who's in the main event, right? Like everybody keeps forgetting about that, including me. I'm not positive his name's Will. I worked hard to to, to learn his name, and I'm pretty sure it's, but it's Fury. And I'm just saying, like, he has no part in this entire contest, but he owes his father a thank you. Dad looked at him, said, look, there's two things this kid can't do. He can't fight and he can't promote. So he just took over, right? He got him guys that it's not what they do. And he handled the promotion. He doesn't do that for Tyson. Tyson's great at beating people up and he's great at selling his fights. I mean, not for nothing, but you really do got to look at the old man. You got to give him a lot of credit. 